Hi, I'm Lilia. I'm Arturo. I'm Martin. I'm Anna, and this is Lily and Christopher. I'm Agustin. And, and we're, we're the, the Martinez, Martinez family. family. is Anna Page and I have a daughter who's five named Lily and I have a two-year-old son named Christopher. So Lily plays ice hockey and also does horseback riding and Christopher loves to swim. I am the director of education at Pretend City Children's Museum and before I wasn't sure what profession to really go into but I knew I wanted to make a difference and I saw that working with young children they were the future of to make a brighter world. I teach at San Diego Canyon College and also at Saddleback College and I teach child development. The, some courses that I teach are observation and assessment and so getting those emerging teachers out in the classroom to be able to see what they can observe in children and what is important and how to be able to build on curriculum. My mom's also a teacher, my brother's also a preschool teacher and so it kind of runs in the family. Uh, preschool teacher is my second career and I wanted to work. Once we were established here, I wanted to work and he said, you know, you can stay home. And I said, well, I want to work. <laughs> I want to do something. And the preschool where we enroll uh, Anna, the director offered me a job. So I started taking classes. I finished them all up and I started as a teacher aide and then became a lead teacher, uh, director of the preschool for a few years. And then now in my new school, the new school where I am, I did uh, as a career starting as junior high. When I graduated, I participated in a ballet folklorico. The name was Hector Fink. And that ballet uh, opened up the show internationally and a very special show in Mexico called Siempre en Domingo. We're very involved in the community and so that's something that we do together. And then we also like to camp. We like to go camping and be in nature and we um, go hiking and go fishing and just trying to find time to really spend together and build community as a whole family and really reunite. And so um, sitting around campfires is something we enjoy. We go camping every year or we travel. At home, we came together and watch a movie. We like to eat too, sometimes get together. Uh, they love different types of food. They love the enchi green enchiladas. They love tinga, that's sugar beef with onions. And the grandkids, they love the rice and beans. We have chilaquiles on the weekends and um, just really explore the, our traditional culture dishes. Everywhere you go, they go. Everything you do, they want to do. Yeah, I definitely see myself as a full-time uncle. I enjoy it, honestly. It, there's sometimes where they do get in your space but at the end of the day it's I'm helping my sister and it, their family but eventually you get used to it and you you find some fun out of it. One main holiday that we celebrate together is Dia de los Muertos which is um, celebrating Day of the Dead but really um, acknowledging the ancestors in our family and close friends. We also celebrate Buddhist holidays and Catholic holidays so we still celebrate Easter and Christmas. It just looks a little bit differently and the way we explain it to children is in both perspectives so they build a knowledge base of you know both religions and as they get older they'll decide which faith they'll want to practice. I grew up in a Catholic family, very traditional. As I grew older I felt like something was missing and I needed to um, really find something that identified with what I believed in and so that's when I found the Buddhist faith. And for the past 10 years, I've been a practicing Buddhist, which is a part of Nichiren Buddhism. And we um, pray morning and evening, and um, also do a lot of community gatherings. The evening, it's mainly a reflection of the day of how to become a better person tomorrow. So my first introduction to Pretend City was um, taking the children to the museum and knowing how important play is and organic play. So being in an environment where they can um, socialize with other children that they've never met before and problem solve in those socialization opportunities. But one of the biggest things that impacted our family was that we filled out ASQs for the children. And in that ASQ, we found that Christopher was delayed with his gross and fine motor development as well as some sensory issues. 
And so because of that ASQ, we were able to start services early. And with early intervention, um, he was able to catch up in his physical development.